Australian war propaganda keeps getting crazier. 60 Minutes Australia has churned out yet another fear-mongering war propaganda piece on China. This one's so ham-fisted in its call to beef up ADF military spending that it goes so far as to run a brazen advertisement for an actual Australian weapons manufacturer disguised as news reporting. This round of psychological conformity-making features Australian former Major General Jim the Butcher of Fallujah Molan saying that in three to ten years a war will be fought against China over Taiwan and that Australians are going to have to fight in that war to prevent a future Chinese invasion of the land down under. He argues Australia will need to greatly increase its military spending in order to accomplish this, because it can't be certain the United States will protect it from Chinese aggression. Australia is monstrously vulnerable at the moment. We have this naive faith that American military power is infinite, and it's not, says Molan, who is a contributor to government and arms industry-funded think tanks, Lowy Institute and Australian Strategic Policy Institute. Decrying what he calls panda huggers, meaning people who aren't China hawks, Molan claims that the Chinese Communist Party's aim is to be dominant in this region and perhaps dominant in the world. Asked when war might break out, he claims, given the power that they have in their military, they could act any time from now on, and that's what frightens me more than anything. The next war is not going to be 10 or 20 years away, it's going to be in the next 3 to 10 years, Mullen asserts. My estimate is that in a serious fight, the Australian Defense Force only has enough missiles for days. This is not going to be resolved in days, and of course we're not big enough. We should expand the defense force significantly. We should fund defense now based on our assessment of the national security strategy, which is based on the war we want to win. In short, do you think Australia needs to prepare for war tomorrow? The interviewer asks Molan. Absolutely, he replies. Molan makes the ridiculous argument that if Australia does not commit to defending Taiwan from the mainland, then it won't be long before they can expect a Chinese invasion at home as though there's any line that could be drawn between the resolution to a decades-old Chinese civil war and China deciding to invade a random continent full of white foreigners thousands of miles away. Suppose we said, okay, Taiwan, you're on your own up there, and the Chinese snapped it up, and the Chinese started looking around the world, and they might snap up other liberal democracies like Australia, Molan argues. And we might then turn to America and say, America, well, could you give us a bit of a hand here? And the Americans might say what we said to Taiwan. Where do you draw the line? This situation that is developing now is an existential threat to Australia as a liberal democracy. Incredibly, the 60 Minutes segment then plunges into several minutes of blatant advertising for Australian defense technology company Defendtex, which manufactures weaponized drones designed to be used in clusters, saying such systems could be handily used to defeat China militarily in a cost-effective manner. The segment also promotes barefaced lies which have been commonplace in anti-China propaganda, repeating the false claim that Chinese fighter planes have been breaching Taiwanese airspace, and repeating a mistranslation of comments by Xi Jinping, which it uses in previous anti-China segments made to sound more aggressive than they actually were. This segment follows a cartoonishly hysterical fear porn piece on China put out by the same program this past September, which featured Australian Strategic Policy Institute ghouls insisting that Australians must be prepared to fight and die in defense of Taiwan, and that a Chinese invasion of Australia is a very real threat. That 60-minute segment was preceded by an equally crazy one in May, which branded New Zealand New Zealand for refusing to perfectly align with U.S. dictates on one small foreign policy issue. To be perfectly clear, there is no evidence of any kind that China will ever have any interest in an unprovoked attack on Australia, much less an invasion, and attempts to tie that imaginary nonsense threat to Beijing's interest in an island right off its coast, which calls itself the Republic of China, are absurd. As we've discussed previously, anyone who'd support entering into a war against China over Taiwan is a crazy idiot. 
In the unfortunate event that tensions between Beijing and Taipei cannot be resolved peacefully in the future, there is no justification whatsoever for the U.S. and its allies to enter into a world war between nuclear powers to determine who governs Taiwan. The cost-to-benefit ratio in a conflict which would easily kill tens of millions could lead to the deaths of billions if it goes nuclear. Makes such a war very, very, very far from being worth entering into. Especially since there's no actual evidence that Beijing has any interest in attacking nations it doesn't see as Chinese territory. There's so much propaganda going toward generating China hysteria in Westerners generally and Australians in particular and it's been depressingly successful toward that end. Watching these mass-scale psyops take control of people's minds one after another has been like watching a zombie outbreak in real time. People's critical thinking faculties just fall right out their ears, and then all of a sudden they're all about cranking up military spending and sending other people's kids off to die defending U.S. interests on some island. Please don't become a zombie. Keep your brain. Stay conscious.